Hillary Clinton said she is open to challenging last year's election results, apparently with the aim of reversing them and making herself president. During the interview, Clinton acknowledged that America lacks a mechanism for throwing out a presidential election after the fact, but she pointed hopefully toward Kenya, where the Supreme Court recently ordered an election do-over due to fairness concerns. Kenya is the model. Mark Green is a former New York City public advocate, the founder of Shadowing Trump. It's an anti-Trump advocacy group. But I bet even Mark Green doesn't believe in overthrowing Democratic election results. Does he, Mark? I think one president from Kenya is enough. <laughs> I didn't even see. It shows you how pure of heart I am. I didn't even think of that joke. But, okay. But look, I mean, come on. I don't think Kenya is a deeply corrupt, beautiful place, nice people, but very corrupt. So it's kind of weird to point to Kenya. But... Why even bring, look, I know she's mad. I know she thinks the Russians and Comey did it, whatever. But to, to even suggest that in an interview, that's not good for our democracy, uh, is it? By the way, I am reading Hillary's book, What Happened. I assume, have you read it yet? Uh, I actually, has, someone sent it to me. It's on my kitchen counter. Okay, the answer is no. Look, Hillary Clinton is at least two things. One, a very smart lawyer. And even a dumb lawyer understands the Constitution never anticipated this. There's no provision for a do-over. The only thing is impeachment by uh, of the right. president or the vice president and we'll see about that second she's a human being and she's the only person in american history to in combination win the popular vote lose the presidency and have a foreign adversary put his thumb on the scale and perhaps tilt the election according to our intelligence agencies i heard you kind of deny it but well, until so they give stupid. tucker I mean, carlson no the proof of that. this is an anomaly right and okay so right well, i want to relitigate that but look i mean i just think the problem with talking that way there are many problems, but one of them is it raises the expectations and the intensity of your own base to such a fever pitch that they become uh, hard to deal. They become scary, actually. And I think that Democratic leaders have said so many irresponsible things in the past nine months that the Democratic base is totally out of control. And I, I'll give you one piece of tape that will convince even you, Mark Green. This is Nancy Pelosi in a group full of so-called dreamers explaining how she's on their side. Look how they respond to her. Yes, I am. You do not. You don't know what you're talking about. That's a problem. And I hope that's not the future, don't you? Uh, you're complaining Hillary and Pelosi, so let me put them uh, together. I've never met a Democrat who thinks there's a plausible way to contest uh, the 2016 election. And so uh, the base isn't upset about, uh, the base is upset about the result, but w w without a remedy. If you're worried about a base being upset, I'm a little concerned that mobs screaming lock her up when Donald Trump is at a podium. That happened. That's real. And in terms of Nancy Pelosi and DACA, look, uh, the public by two to one are in favor of making DACA a law. Donald Trump says he is. Paul Ryan says he is. It'll probably happen. A 30 students apparently went there and were furious. I asked a dreamer colleague of mine why. Because Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer seem to be arguing for making it a law, which they want. And he said, look, um, they're, they're furious and scared about being sent back to a country they've never been in. And uh, at, at, at the same time, they're they... unreasonable and entitled. They're not even U.S. citizens, and they're demanding of the highest ranking Democrat in the House. They're screaming at her. It's like, you're not even entitled to vote. Like, what are you doing? You don't see that at all? Uh, wait a second. Entitled. They're allowed to speak. So they are engaged in a form of protest that you and I might not engage in. Of course, we've never been threatened with being kicked out of uh, uh, the country. Their argument, tactically, I don't buy it, is they don't want to be bargaining chips that Pelosi and Schumer should demand a clean dream bill and not say, OK, okay we'll spend more on the wall. That's tactical. I does think it this bother is you? Hold on. Does it bother you? The, the, does it bother you? The attitude? Look, I'm pro immigrant, but it just seems a little weird if you come to this country illegally and partake of all the fruits of it and get all the benefits, the federal and state benefits as they have. And then someone says, we're going to help keep you here. You'd be grateful. You'd say, thank you, America. I never hear that. Why is that? And shouldn't we be hearing that? So America, based on the GOP, a majority of the GOP base, 
was to kick them out. So when you say they came here illegally, of course, you and I know, maybe your audience does, they came here as infants. Of course, they didn't have a choice, which is what makes them uh, sympathetic. Tucker, you may want there to be chaos on the left. I have to tell you, the numbers don't bear that out. Uh, Donald Trump oh, really? is still at the lowest level of any president of this. What, what? There's a 10-point gap between Democrat, Republican, and the generic House vote, and the Russian scandal is breathing down their the, necks. So the Democrats are united in hating Trump, but what actually does bother me, and I think would bother you, is the total collapse of support for the rule of law and freedom of speech on the left. There are poll after poll after poll showing that a huge percentage of people on the left don't believe that you have an unfettered right to say what you think. That doesn't bother you? Uh, first, that's not true. I saw the it poll is true. in the New York it Post. It is true. No, no, I saw the poll in the New York Post. A fifth of Republican students and Democratic students in that poll said violence was acceptable to that's shut exactly up That's exactly right. A, a that's exactly speech. right. That's terrible. I'm from the Bill Moore ACLU school. Uh, uh, more speech is the answer to bad speech. You're upset about the rule of law because 30 scared, angry DACA kids are yelling, and they shouldn't no, be. And we no, have I'm a not. president of the United States who gives no, Joe Arpaio a pardon after I'm, he's tortured I'm people. I'm worried about the rule of law because you okay. have Democrats openly advocating for ignoring it, for giving illegal aliens the right to vote. You get arrested for hunting without a license, but it's totally okay. cool to sneak in the country the and issue, use fake documents to work? Did, like, what? Uh, you and I know dreamers didn't sneak into the country, right? Their that, parents did, and they're getting uh, citizenship okay, too, so as they, you know. They, they didn't. We're not talking about giving the parents automatic citizenship. Yes, we are. In terms of the right to vote, they want the uh, right to stay in the military. They want the right to finish right, okay. college. Don't you agree? I mean, Donald Trump and Paul Ryan agree there with that. There are less than 1,000 in the military out of 800,000. I mean, this numbers are just... Anyway, we're out of time. I'm being told we've got to go to break. Mark Green, thanks for joining thanks, us. Thanks, Dr.